ninguém que me ainda não anda leu mais Foi chiquito antes de tomar e com chefs Uma canção passa com o pendeu What's up guys? Uh, here, here with another video uh, Today I'm gonna like um, reinstall the fuel pressure regulator uh, it ha The fuel pressure regulator was You know, this one It was installed when the car was turbo. I, when I took the turbo off, I took everything off, make everything as stock as possible. So now, I'm thinking I'm gonna just make this video if people that are touring their 40 FTE or 40 FE, they um, know and brief explanation how to install a uh, fuel pressure regulator and aft, uh, aftermarket fuel pressure regulator on your 40 FE. So it's very, 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 very simple. Uh, I'll show you an explanation and then I'm gonna show you and then bit by bit I'm gonna show you guys um, installing it. Yeah, uh, yeah. You here you got your 40 FE. Uh, this bottom hose is the feed that goes into the, into the fuel rail. This is the return return line that goes back to the to the fuel tank. This is your this is this pipe is in time. This is your stock uh, fuel pressure regulator. The hose goes to um, to the uh, vacuum port on the intake. So basically, what you need to do is just yeah so basically what you need to do is just simple oh yeah um before, oh yeah you guys gotta have to um either order uh adapt uh fuel pressure regulator adapter so you can put your install your fuel pressure regulator. forgot forgot to tell you guys that. as you can see this is a little banged up because when i um, went to take it off it was pretty stuck in there so um i don't know if you guys remember in the last video this um you know port was out because i had to yank it out but i managed to get it in as you guys can see this thing will focus yeah see it's banged up see but don't worry the when you when you put a hose clamp on these these um some kind of teeth or whatever it hooks on them so it does, so the hose doesn't back out and also got o-ring i'm gonna you know put some lubricant on it on some on a little oil so it doesn't yeah so what you need to do is remove this regulator but first you're gonna have to take off the return line and remove this and and just take this out and put this in you know in in place of this when you take it out and and, and then you're gonna install your regulator you're gonna figure out where you're gonna mount it either here close here uh, or there um, i i think i'm gonna mount mine um probably here it depends or i don't know maybe here i don't know um got a zip zip tie so here um this is the feed this is the feed line so this this line hooks this this line hooks those hooks up here and this is the this is the return line the return line hooks up the bottom here and you clamp and you hold clamp it and this is the vacuum port for the regulator just hose already i've already got an, an extra hose to put to put here and this is your gauge where you're gonna adjust it adjust it how you want it um i've looked up um you know on the forms stock for this card stock pressure is around 30 to 33 psi on idling so if you want to raise it or whatever you can go up to like i don't know 35 36 um 
base pressure just raise it but just remember every time you you know um, give a gas or whatever it it adds like an extra um, extra pound of fuel pressure meaning if you if you put it to 25 or let's say if base pressure is like uh, 33 once you give it gas or give it more, you know, on load, it raises up to 34, to 34, 34.5. Um, yeah, but if you but if you put it to the five, you get like 36, 36 and a half. Uh, this is just for you to control control how much uh, fuel gets uh, fuel gets to the injectors and the rails, and you can adjust it. How you are it's you can uh, you can adjust it more precisely than with a stock regulator although the stock regulator is fine but you know this is just for me to show you guys how to you know guys want to um, install a regulator on your 4 FTE or 4 FE it's very simple and yeah when I install it I'm gonna have I'm gonna put it to like uh, 35 um, idle pressure so I can so I can get like when I'm on load get like um, 30, 36 36.5 and that's basically it and I, but I also have the 4FD injectors and also with the also with the 4FD map sensor but I'm not gonna do install it because it's gonna make the car run even richer or make the car run rich than it's normally but with this you can just install it just to make the car just run give it just you know a bit more not much but with the first injectors you're gonna get more and i don't want that because i'm not it's still na not a turbo but i'm in the works of you know like i said in the last video i'm gonna buy a new turbo also i got the manifold down pipe so i'm just gonna put turbo or lines and stuff yeah it's gonna take it's gonna take uh mm, some work but yeah i'm gonna go stock location top mount but enough about that let's get this let's let's get this stuff so before you start if since this i haven't started the car yet when i when i go to remove this regulator and also this return line no fuel will come out because the car the fuel pump or the fuel lines everything the fuel system has been primed so yeah if you want to do this after you know after you finish driving it and you let it cool off it's best to um either if you don't want to uh, take the fuel um fuel pump fuel um um fuse out or you can just you know put a rag um down here and here it'll, it'll catch it mind you there's not enough fuel gonna come out just a just amount just a little amount but it's best to put something here a rag or something just to be safe so that's it's good now just you know just to show you guys if what happens if you don't put a rag i did this just to show you guys what up what what would happen if you guys don't put a rag uh as you can see, I got a bolt inside the return line. As you can see, it's a little bit, you see? Fuel and the transmission over here. Uh, back there. Uh, yeah, but these things, you just wipe them off. And by the heat of the engine and transmission, this it vapors. But you still get that um, initial fuel smell but yeah just to show you guys if you don't put a rag or check out the fuse fuel will come out and stuff but it's you, yeah you you can't you could just let the fuse in just put a rag and put a bolt in something in as quick as possible either a flat uh screwdriver something to plug something to plug up plug up the hole i like i just did so onto the onto the regulator I'm gonna wrap this up now. Yeah. So the the stock regulator is out. See, it's a it's a good thing I put uh, the rag because one of the bolts fell on the rag, 
and I could have got it with the what I I got I could have I got it with the you know needle nose pliers. You know it's a good thing. See that's why you the idea to put a rack to you know catch most of the fuel. Although you're gonna lose you're gonna lose a few uh, a couple of fuel um, lose a fuel or a couple of fuel, but it's nothing nothing of uh fill up mm, harm or uh, trip to the gas station gonna hunt mm. yeah so yeah um now it's time to put this um a friend told me to use you know that before for the o-rings so yeah. oh shit bro You can you you could you could use all two, but I got W forty now, and it's on. Now I just gotta figure where I'm gonna put the regulator, put this hose on, clamp it on, and yeah, probably I'm gonna use this exact same return. Maybe it's gonna be mounted up here. So yeah, yeah, guys. <sighs> um, I got. Uh, most of the stuff done. Um, I've run in some kind of an, uh, trouble. Uh, let me show you guys. Uh, yeah, I had to use different bolts that I had uh, because uh, these, you no, know, this bolt didn't. I don't know. It keeps you know, you know, spinning. Not tightening all the way I don't know where the other one is but so yeah now it's tight I tighten it with the um, ratchet uh, now uh, just to figure out where I'm gonna mount the regulator and then put the stone vacuum hose and start it up and see if it you got no leaks. Also forgot on the holes on the adapter, a fuel pressure regulator adapter. I had to hone out uh, them so that the bolts can clear because they were you now threading on the inside. So all that done. Yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know about that. If you guys are gonna order um it's for the 4 FE. It's a actually it's a universal, so you can you can use it, but just be mindful that you gotta have to you know make some customized stuff. But all, other than that, it's good. Fits now. Yeah, guys, everything's plugged up. I'm gonna put this rag right down here. If it's if it leaks, but I don't doubt it got the hose right back at the intake with also with the mm, mm, uh, vacuum I got the regular amount like this it's gonna be behind behind the you can see it still and I'm about to start it up and see if there's leaks or anything so yeah yeah you're gonna have i had to prime it two times i don't see no leaks Yeah, guys, we got fuel pressure. I think I got it around, I think, 36, 37. When I give it a rev, it rises up to 40, 40%. I had to tighten these bolts because, I don't know, maybe all the time of vibration, the vibration and stuff might have, you know, let them loose, but maybe later, I have to get a new regulator, but until now, it's gonna do the job. Um, I don't see no leaks. 
So I'm gonna put everything back together, the stock airbox pipes and everything. And yeah, I'm gonna turn the car off now and let the car idle and see when it's done, if there's there more, if there are leaks that I didn't see. So, yeah. So I left the car, the car been idling about five minutes or so. Uh, I don't see no fuel leaks around the adapter, the hoses, not even, they were, I needed to tighten the, you know, the bolts on the uh, regulator, you know, on the on top. Cause I don't know, maybe all uh, vibrations or whatever. I don't know. I tighten, I tighten them up. No more leak, no whatever. And, but idling, I don't see nothing. But now I'm gonna go just for a round drive uh, around the block to see if it's um, more leak. <laughs> this waste So yeah guys, um, there's no leaks, no leaks around the top of the regulator, no leaks at the feed and also return of the regulator hoses, no leaks at the adapter around it, nor at the hose, nor at the mouth, nothing. Um, yeah. Um, just around the uh, test drive, the car is just, you know, I think now that it's got a regulator and I raised the um, pressure just a little bit, since the fuel has got, got a long, um, let's say, more ways to go, it, it you, you feel a little, just a little, you know, it, like it's, it's gonna start to move slow then go but if you just you know just ease and give it gas it's 
normally but this is the first feeling this is the, this is the same feeling i had um when the regulator was on before i turboed it it felt like that or it felt like that so what i did to you know remedy that problem a little bit is to put the four fte injectors in it with the map sensor and the, it's gone the problem's gone the only drawback is now you got more fuel <laughs> than you know then you know what to do with it so um now i think i'm gonna leave it like that or maybe i just i will just put the inject uh make a make a video on how also to uh to put the 4 ft injectors in it simple as that just like i made this video about the regulator it's as you guys can see it's very simple but you need to get uh, the uh, universal fuel pressure regular adapter. Or what I did on my um, old Glanza, since I didn't want to, you know, wait um, and stuff, I actually bought a 4FT uh, fuel rail. And where the adapter sits, I had somebody, uh, you know, thread a fitting in it uh, with fitting it with the same type of um, uh, mouth with the regular head when you can you know it um, has those you know lines that when the when you clamp the, uh, the you know when you clamp it it hooks it doesn't back out and do the same thing I did in this video explaining and yeah so oh and also when you about when you uh, install the whole the, the feed holes the one that, that um, hooks up to the adapter. Make sure it has enough room, you know, enough room to, you know, uh, with no kinks. Because that's, that's the main problem I ran into when the glands I, I had. Um, I went to, you know, get my hood and my roof painted because it was a little, you know, um, the clear came the clear side that came off was bad um luckily the hood of my the hood was taken off and my cousin went to go tra test drive it because he what he fiddled with the uh fuel pressure a little bit and what happened is since the hose coming out of the fuel rail was too you know uh too short like it, it was it's like this and this so the fuel didn't have much room to you know travel and since it was so you know like this the hose got so much too much pressure on it and it you know burst out luckily there was no hood and they could see it, it literally splashed against the windshield and they and they saw it so they immediately turned turn the car off uh one of the friend has the, um you know his army knife uh so they cut it put it on and then yeah and then after that um we made sure uh, my car my cousin and also me we made, have made sure that um have anything that has uh um pressure on it doesn't have no kinks and needs uh either a direct uh direct from one from a to b or if it's or make it enough room to, for it to travel with no with free with no stress on it with no kinks with no nothing with no short nothing so yeah that's yeah um maybe probably because i'm trying to get as much you know um you know content as out as out um uh, yeah i might i might in the next video give another tutorial on um how to install the um, injectors? Same thing. Same thing I did with the same thing like uh, and the O-ring of the ad um, adapter. Spray with the, um, either you can use oil, you or wait day for WD forty so it doesn't you know slide in smoothly. Same the same thing you're gonna have to um gonna have to do for the remove the four uh, FE injectors. The four FE injectors. They are 195 cc and the um 4ft are 295 meaning 100 cc more meaning that's a lot of fuel so 
with combination of the regulator and also with the map and stuff i'm a, like i said i'm gonna have way more fuel and i don't know what to do with it so i think i might um you know get a let's say um an aftermarket um power filter and maybe you know make 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 something out of it like make something um probably like a call like a call in to intake probably so yeah but that's it man uh, maybe maybe tomorrow maybe i don't know in this week that's coming up i'll change injectors might or might not or i might just you know try to get a um uh aftermarket pod filter and try to make uh, uh try to make um uh, after my uh, after my cold cold air intake, and I'm probably gonna use some you know something to you know um, make a shield that the heat that can isolate the filter from the heat doesn't yeah. But this is gonna do it for the video, my, my friends. I hope you guys find this video informative. I hope you guys can you know watch 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 this video and see how to install a. Uh, 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 aftermarket fuel pressure regulator on your 4 FTE or 4 FE bill whether it's, it's NA or turbo or whatever and it's practically um, on all other platform cars it's practically, practically the same so you can you can but mostly this is for the um, four cylinder 4 FTE 4 FTE 4 FE same with the 5E um yeah but yeah hope you guys like the video uh make make sure you guys hit the like button comment below and subscribe and help grow the channel so yeah i'm gonna yeah other than that i'm gonna see you guys in the next video man peace